Have you ever wanted to create your own shadow work embroidery designs but didn't understand how to go about creating them? Well, with FTCU's new auto shadow work tool, all you need to know how to do is select a shape that you want to turn into shadow work and click a button. That's all. It's that easy. And I can't wait to show you a brand new feature in FTCU called the auto shadow work tool. To get started, I have a blank screen on the page and I'm just gonna bring up a custom shape that's inside the software. So I'm gonna click on the custom shapes and I'm going to just come in and find a simple custom shape that I wanna use. Um, let's just do something like, give me one second, like this heart right here. So I bring the heart on the page and all I have to do is select it, and when I want to convert it to an auto shadow work, I come down here and I press this button called auto shadow work. Click it, and it's done. The software has now created all the pieces that I need in order to create a shadow work design. And if you're not sure what shadow work is, basically it is stitches that, that go on before you put your top piece of fabric on and then you bind it together and it is partially see-through so what ends up happening is the the stitches that that stitch on the back side of your um, towel or whatever sheer material that you want to use shadows through the top so you can kind of see it in the background it's a very fun technique and to show you I have a little example here I'll bring it up on the screen. Um, it might be a little bit difficult to see on here, but you have green stitches for these leaves, and then we have a red stitches underneath here. And you can see how it's a very nice muted color um, where the, it shadows through to the top. And it's a very fun process. If you've never done it before, it's pretty easy once you have a design that, um, that works for it. So with the software, automatically creating the stitches it couldn't be easier to create your own shadow work designs so if you're going to stitch it out what you would do is you'd hoop a couple one or two pieces of Floriani um, wet and gone stabilizer and you would stitch the shadow work stitches directly onto the um, wet and gone stabilizer and then once those stitches are done which I'll show you what those are uh, you would lay your piece of sheer fabric down and you'd either tape it using embroidery perfection tape or just somehow putting it on there so it won't um, slide around and you stitch the rest of the design and when you're done you remove the wet and gone stabilizer in water and it's just left with a freestanding design where you have stitches on the back side of your fabric and then you also have stitches on top of the fabric that actually grab the stitches underneath and lock it all together. So it's a fun, easy process, and uh, we definitely have tutorials on how to create them. So what we have here, when I, I'll go back and I'll show you this one more time. We have a piece of artwork, and we come down and we click on the auto shadow work tool, and it has created the following pieces. What we have is a grid system in in essence where it'll do a fill stitch a really open fill stitch going one direction and then it's going to come back and it's going to do another one another open fill going in a different direction the opposite direction and that's going to create the base and then it's going to do a run stitch around the edge and that run stitch is is inset so it's actually grabbing on to that fill stitch so that it kind of grabs and locks it all together and it's those um, two fills and that little run. It's all the first color. It's all in one color sequence. Those are the stitches that go directly onto the wet and gone stabilizer. And once the purple part in this design is purple, once it finishes, you would actually lay your top fabric down and you would stitch um, the next color or the remaining colors in your design. And first thing it's going to do is it's going to grab it and um, attach the fabric um, 
the stitches on the top and the bottom are going to grab each other and it's going to sandwich in with uh, that you have the fabric in between and it's going to create that shadow work effect and when you go rinse away the stabilizer you're left with a freestanding design um, so all the stabilizer gets washed away and you're going to have a shadow effect through your sheer fabric and so one of the things I want to show you is um, I'm going to hit undo and if I hit that the shadow work basically what it's done is it's created those two fills the run and then the tack down or the the stitch that after you lay the fabric down grabs it and locks it all together you do have the ability to come in and change this so let's say that you wanted this to be a steel stitch which is not a bad idea um, to have it have a steel border it just has a better chance of even grabbing the stitches underneath you can just come here and click on the steel and it will create a steel stitch that now borders that piece and um, gives it a nice clean edge so I want to show you what the example was I'll bring that up again on the screen here we have the I think I closed it out so um, let me go and find that and bring it up here so I got this on the screen now and what you'll see is we've got those fill stitches under the leaves and the fill stitch pattern underneath of this flower and we have other decorative elements as well so I'm gonna bring this design up so that I can show you how this was created um, I have it open up right here and you'll see that I have the finished thing here but how this works is I've got these individual pieces so we had the flower with the red stitches the two leaves those are the shadow work elements so what you do is I'm coming in here and I'm selecting this flower piece right here and I'm just gonna bring it off to the side here and I'm just gonna click auto shadow work and it's going to turn that into a shadow work I'm gonna grab these two leaves and just move them over to the side here and do the same thing click on auto shadow work and it creates all of those pieces that are needed now in this design we have shadow work elements and we have decorative stitches not only that but when it comes to the shadow work it's very important that you do all of those uh, patterns the fill pattern the run stitch before you lay the fabric down and do the top stitches so when you create something like this that has multiple pieces to it it's very important that you come back in here and you look at it and say okay I know that this is a shadow work piece and I know that these green ones are a shadow work piece I've got the two fills and the run and on this one two fills and a run and then this stitch is the one that goes on after the fabric is laid on top of it same with um, this run right here this other one that goes after these first three elements so what you need to make sure that you do is right here you have this this fill and these fills I've got to move this so that I stitch both of these first before I lay the fabric down and then I can come and tack them down the one thing that you can't do is you can't do the fill stitches here with the run lay the fabric down and then do that little border stitch that locks it together and then go back and do the same thing here because you've got to get all of the shadow work elements done prior to putting the fabric down and doing all the rest of the top stitches so I wanted to point that out that um, you have to be careful with that if you're doing working with multiple pieces you have to rearrange things and so if this was a design if I was ignoring any of these stitches right here I would have to make sure that I had those fill areas and then the tack downs coming later for both objects so I'm gonna bring these back up and I'll just show you kind of how we created this so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those so what we did is we have our fill stitches I'm gonna do the slow redraw it's gonna take place those fill stitches with the run stitch that goes around it and then it's gonna do the leaves that fill pattern with the run stitch around it again the last one 
and then now it's going to stitch now we're going to put the fabric down and we're going to stitch the rest of the design so once the fabric is on top of these stitches and taped down it's going to stitch the rest of the design and you can see um, that it's kind of locking grabbing everything together we kind of manually you know came in here and added some of these features and let's do that run and let's just uh, run on top of there to make the leaf effect and then it's done and the end result was like what you saw in that image we were able to create a really neat effect um, utilizing those stitches and with the shadow work and again the most important thing is if you're doing multiple pieces you might have to rearrange it a, a little bit um, if it's just one object that you're doing you don't have any rearranging the software does put it in the order that it needs to be for a single object but when you're working with multiples you might have to do something a little bit extra and it's really fun to work with shadow work if you've never done it you need to try it it's uh, simple all you need is the wet and gone stabilizer and then you need a nice sheer piece of material it could be organza or it could be a towel like you saw that um, was used um, where it's a very sheer lightweight see-through towel so um, that is auto shadow work it's really easy to work with in the software it's just a click of the button and I do have one other thing to show you um, when it comes to doing this shadow work designs is we did drop in another feature here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a couple of um, the elements here so I need to grab I'm gonna kind of delete some of these off, off of this design just to make it easier to kind of see what we're doing here so let's say that you're working with a design it's already an embroidery design that you want to turn into a shadow work design and I'm gonna remove the shadow work elements here of this design let's see here I should be, should be good here so let's say that we had this here if I did a slow redraw you could see that it's this decorative pattern and then it does a border and that's all that there is to this design there is nothing nothing else to it and but let's say I wanted to turn this into shadow work if I select it right here we have this other tool shadow work tool it was right next to the regular one where it's a auto shadow work plus and what this does is if you have other stitches like these decorative stitches right here um, we have the ability to create a shadow work under it and then also at the same time keep those stitches so it doesn't get rid of them if you use the auto shadow work plus it just adds the shadow work underneath so let me go ahead and click auto shadow work plus and there it is and I will just switch the color here so that you can kind of see but if I do a slow redraw now you can see that it, it created that fill with the run that goes around and now it's going to do the decorative stitches and put everything together and so it's really neat we have two shadow work tools the regular sh shadow work and the one the auto shadow work plus that allows you to keep some design elements and just add shadow work underneath so it's a lot of fun easy to use looking forward to see what everyone does with this new shadow work feature